think you understand. When it comes to your destiny and the things that were already laid out for you, the path that was already laid out for you, there is nothing anyone can do to stop that from coming to fruition. Not you, not an op, not a hater, not a karmic, not a nothing. It doesn't matter how many setbacks you have, any delays that you experience, anything that you feel like is you taking a loss or anything like that. It doesn't matter. Whatever was written in your destiny is still going to be the same for you. And the lessons and the people we encounter along the way are actually there to get us to our destiny. You would not be able to get to your destiny if you did not take those L's, if you did not come in contact with those karmics, if you did not experience some type of failure in your life, you would not be able to even step foot into your destiny because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And whoever I'm talking to, you needed a lot of strength to become this new version of yourself. You needed strength to become this person that you were always meant to be. Because the position that you're going to be in is a position that is not like anything else that you have ever experienced or anyone around you has ever experienced. It was perfectly designed for you and only you can walk this path. You have had people come along and peek into your destiny and think they were going to play some type of destiny swap with you or fate swap with you because they were told by something or someone that this was possible, that was also part of the game. They were just a pawn in the devil's game. The enemy already knew that it was no possible way he was going to get you because it was written for you to win. But he knew that because your destiny was so great and your light is so bright, there was gonna be many, many, many people and many souls that he could collect to work for him and his game. It doesn't matter that you were going to win and the enemy was going to lose because at the end of the day, the people coming up against you don't know that. They are being told and lied to by a number of different energies and beings and even being lied to by themselves that they have the power to come up against you. The devil is never going to tell you it's game. It's never going to tell you the truth. It's always going to trick you. And the devil was able to trick a lot of people when it came to you very easily because of who you are and the light that you hold. You draw a lot of envy and a lot of jealousy and a lot of hate for no reason. It is what it is. And because of that, people will time and time again try to pick you apart or belittle you or sabotage you or try to swap destinies with you. And I'm getting there is someone, one specific person for whoever this is for, that tried to swap destinies with you because they were told by someone or something that this was going to be possible. But whoever told them this knew that they were lying and they just wanted this person's money or they just wanted this person's soul. And they got either one or they got the other because something that they did not <laughs> account for is them losing. They went into this thinking that it was no way that you were going to come out on top or you were going to escape the situation. They walked into the situation, signed their name on the dotted line with absolute confidence that they were going to succeed and you were going to lose, not understanding the entire time it was written in your destiny for you to win. It was always going to be you. It was never going to be anyone else. Whatever your path is, your path is molded and shaped and paved for you. God already knows who's going to come up against you. He knows what type of lessons you're going to experience. He knows anything that you, any mistake that you're going to make. He already knows that. And he knows those mistakes are going to build you for greatness. No one else knows that. No one else around you understands that. And they never will. It doesn't matter what it looks like right now. So for whoever you are, don't worry about whoever this individual is because they're irrelevant and they're being dealt with as we speak. But as far as you, you got to chill. <laughs>
some of y'all really need to calm down because some of y'all are in a state of like, where is my justice? Where is my reward? Where is my blessings? When you're in that state of mind where you're like, why God? What is going on? Where? Like, I've been asking for this. Where is it? It's not going to come. I guarantee you it's not going to come. In the midst of you, in that energy of where is my justice? I deserve it. Where is my blessings? All that other stuff, it's not going to come because it's not meant to. You're not even open and receptive to it because a part of you doesn't believe that you deserve justice or that you deserve whatever you've asked for. Because if you believed it, you would have no reason to question God. You would be focused and you would stay calm and patient. That's one of my favorite songs by Janae Aiko, Calm and Patient. Somebody needs to listen to that song. Um, you would relax because what is there to stress about when God already promised you that you're going to have what he said you're going to have? It doesn't matter what it looks like now. Whatever is going, Whatever you're going through now, is it's a reason why you're going through it. So sit in it. Think. Talk to God, talk to, um, get a journal, go to therapy, whatever it is you need to do to get your mental health in check and in order, you do that. But sit in this season that you're in right now where you're you're waiting for your blessings to come in. Because as much as it doesn't feel like it at the moment, the waiting season is a blessing. The isolation season is a blessing and you don't understand that until you're out of it. So don't use this time wisely. Don't use this time to complain and throw the pity parties and get upset. If you're going to do that, do it with a purpose. Cry with the intention of transmuting that energy into something positive that will help you and bring whatever it is that you're manifesting in faster or so you can have some type of peace in your life. But what you don't want to do in that waiting period, in that void, is constantly complain. Never express gratitude for anything. I understand we're human and we're allowed to have our emotions, but you cannot sit in that energy. And I'm going to forever preach that to y'all because in my season of void and <laughs> me having to be patient, um, me being in isolation, the moment that I switched my energy and I stopped complaining, I stopped being negative and I continue to remain positive and hopeful and express gratitude for what I already do have. Because there are plenty of things for you to express gratitude for right now. When I started to do that, that's when my life got better. That's when my life started to make sense and I made changes. But not only that, I was able to think better. So a lot of y'all are so hungry for vengeance and justice. You can't even think straight. You can't. You gotta If you know for a fact that what you put out, you will get back. And what goes around comes around and karma is real. If you understand that, there is no reason for you to stress about the when and how your enemies are going to get their justice or they're going to get their karma. Some of y'all are just, y'all just sitting around waiting for your enemies to get karma. Why? That energy is like an energy of lack. Sitting around like, ooh, I just, I just want this person to fail and crumble. That's not high vibrational energy. That's low vibrational energy because that's stooping to the level of the people who sat around wishing on your downfall. Don't sit around wishing on the downfall of your enemies. You should already know that's going to come when it comes and you may or may not even see it. And whether you do or not, that's none of your business. But what is your business is staying focused on your path and making sure you do what you can to remain at a high vibration. I have a video where I talked about how to defeat spiritual warfare. That's how you defeat spiritual warfare. You work on your mental health. You stay high vibrational. Spiritual warfare cannot touch you the same way it does when you're vibrating vibrating at a higher level. It can't touch you because it's not most most spiritual warfare is low level energy from low level entities. If you are vibrating high, it may hit you but it's like a sneeze or a cough or like it just rolls off of you. It doesn't really touch you the way it would. If you're low vibing, okay? So pick yourself back up. Stay focused. It was always going to be you, babe. <laughs> There's no reason for you to stress or worry. I don't care what it looks like right now. I don't care what you think you're supposed to have. You will not have it until it's time for you to receive it. And you don't want to be, you don't want to waste your time in an energy of lack and doubt because that is the opposite of being open and receptive. You have to keep your heart open. The heart chakra the heart space for those of you who align yourself with that that is where your blessings come in that is where your manifestation comes in because that is where the love is at and we all know love is the highest vibration 
So remain in a state of love and peace the best that you can. Do whatever you can to re <laughs> do whatever you can to remain vibrating high because when these blessings come in for you, you are going to be ready. Right now, you may not be, but your time is going to come, okay? And just remember, it is written. It was always going to be you. Mm-hmm.